Hi, I'm Dr. Winston Warm, the climbing doc, here to talk to you today about pulley injury prevention. And this is a very important topic that I don't think gets enough press, something we don't talk about as much as we should. There are practical ways that you as a climber can decrease your chances of sustaining a pulley injury, and we'd like to cover those for you today here on this video. Uh, but before we do that, let's talk about how pulley injuries happen in the first place. And typically, they happen when a climber is utilizing a hold with a crimp grip like so, and their foot pops off, or they move dynamically from one crimp uh, to another hold, and they shock load or overload the pulley systems, and the pulleys rupture. So that's what we're trying to avoid, because a pulley injury will often lead to a long convalescent of at least two and sometimes three or more months. So we're going to try to avoid those by taking some of these practical hints. The first one we want to go over in terms of prevention is not to skip a proper warm-up. And we know from all sorts of athletics that we've been involved in that we need to get our body temperature up, we should have a light sweat going. And for a climbing athlete we want to do about a hundred moves at a lower grade than our project grade or at our red point grade. We'd like to warm up well and Dr. Andy Schweitzer has shown us in his pulley research that the pulleys are warmed up and properly stretched after about 100 to 120 moves. So let's not overlook the importance of a warm up. But the second part of prevention is not crimping unless we absolutely have to. Now this is going to take quite a bit of an adjustment because most of us will instinctively use a crimp grip whenever we have a small face hold and we prefer to use that grip because it's very stable and we're very used to it. The problem is, again, you're overloading the pulleys with three to four times the force that are seen with an open grip and you're courting pulley disaster, if you will, or pulley rupture. So we want to get away from that habit. We want to use an open grip as much as possible. If we can get away with this on a hold, this is much safer. If we can't and we need a little bit more force or security, we can sometimes do a partial or semi-crimp grip instead of the full crimp grip. And those are ways to get out of the habit of always crimping. In order to continue working on getting out of the habit, we want to never crimp when we're arc training. We never want to crimp when we're campus training. We're never going to crimp on a mono or a pocket. And we're going to try to avoid moving dynamically from a crimp grip to another hold to avoid overloading our pulley system. So those are very practical ways that we can avoid pulley injuries. However, given the nature of uh, climbing, uh, there's always chances that we are going to hurt our finger. And if we feel a little tweak in our finger after we've been working on a boulder project or red point attempt, whatever, and all of a sudden we start to have pain over the base of the finger or over the middle phalanx on the palm side, that's an indication we have, may have a slight pulley injury. And that's a really good time to take off your climbing shoes, put on your tennis shoes, go to the gym, do some core exercises, do some upper body pressing exercises, and work on areas that we don't typically like to work on as climbers. And we'll be able to go back to the gym or to the crag in a couple weeks with healthy fingers and get back after doing what we really enjoy doing. Now, there is a chance, even with all these practical uh, tips and we practice using open grips, we can still end up hurting our pulleys. And it's just one of the things that happens with climbing. And if that happens to you, you feel a pop or very significant tear occur in your finger, we do have ways to treat that. You can go to our website and uh, get a sport on your hand as soon as possible to help the pulley heal as anatomically as possible. Uh, in either our sport or another type of pulley orthosis. I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, climb on.